Yo, what's going on guys? So I've owned my EVGA RTX 3090 Ti for the Win 3 Ultra model for about one month, one month now. Whenever I'm not uh, gaming on my computer, I am uh, testing with uh, mining. And uh, in NiceHash, I found the kind of a sweet spot for uh, mining. And that puts uh, this card at around 132 to 133 mega hash with a memory uh, VRAM temperature of 70 degrees C under load. And uh, this is my uh, underclock and overclock settings. So core clock, negative 300 megahertz. Memory overclock at 1700 megahertz. So it seems like this EVGA model has a really, really good overclocking, uh, which I'm pretty uh, amazed by. Actually, I can max it out 1800, but it won't seem to really affect the, the mega hash at any point. And then power limit set at 333. One thing to note about wattage on these cards, which I've seen on other mining uh, channels, with, even with this EVGA particular model, is uh, it'll show on software like 330 watts or 334, and it actually ends up pulling about 15 to 20 watts more uh, if you use it with the hardware uh, test that pull, that shows the wattage pulled. So I just one thing I want to note that is that it will pull more wattage than it's showing in software. And with the 3090 Ti, it seems to pull about 10 to 15 uh, more watts, which than it is shown. So uh, memory temperatures under load, it varies between 76 to 78 to 80 degrees Celsius. And it's actually kind of warm today. So today it's gonna be closer to 78 to 80 C. And that's as high as I've ever seen it go. I've never seen it go above 80 degrees Celsius. And another thing to note is uh, I noticed on this EVGA model is memory overclocks really, really well. I've read a lot of uh, reviews on these 3090 Ti cards and it seems like the MSI Supreme X and the EVGA uh, 413 Ultra 3090 Ti for the one seems to overclock really, really well. And that's one thing to note, because I also tested the uh, ASUS um, RTX 3090 Ti, the uh, Strix model, the one with the liquid cooler. I think it's a 240 millimeter radiator, and I tested that, and it seems like the memory would over only overclock to like uh, 1100 and it would meet the artifacts. So that's one thing to note. Even though it has a liquid cooler, it seems to not overclock as well as uh, these air cooled cards, which I thought was kind of interesting. And that's one thing you, you should note uh, if you're looking to get one of these cards uh, and use it for mining. And I've said this in previous uh, video that if you're going to have a 3090, there's really no reason to get a 3090 uh, Ti because it's not really that much of an increase, at least when it comes to mining. And also, you know, obviously in gaming, I've also basically up too. But uh, just so uh, I wanted to test this card, review this card, find the limits, and so that's why I have it. I didn't necessarily need it, and so that's just one thing I wanted to mention. So mining profitability, it'll vary between five dollars and six dollars depending on what's going on with the market. Right now, it's sitting at six sixty-eight, which is actually really really high. Uh, it's high, it's normally not that high, but of course, you know everything varies. Uh, you know how you use a computer or if you're web browsing and stuff. So it kind of varies, uh, and then the mega hash. Usually, it, I guess it's showing 133, but that's usually where it maxes out at uh, in speed for my gosh. And uh, like I said, pulling about 330 watts, but really pulling about 340 to 345, uh, depending on you know what you're using to measure uh, the wattage uh, pulling. So that's about it. Just wanted to talk about that. That seems to be a good uh, overclock limit for the EVGA. Uh, for the 13 Ultra model, so I have it at 1700, and mine does max out 1800 megahertz memory overclock, and then um, I set the power limit at 333. So this wise, I've got that. That seems to be my magic uh, sweet spot for this card, and uh, so obviously results will vary depending on card to card. But I find the EVGA model, the Supreme X, seem to be really really good uh, memory overclock overclockers with uh, really good memory temperatures. So that's about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy your Friday. Happy Friday. And see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Lose Zebra X on YouTube slash Lose Motivation Instagram. Peace out and happy mining.